Yeah, most definitely. So thanks for having me first and foremost. But yeah, my name is Burton. Um, I'm probably the probably biggest nerd you'll probably meet when it comes to real estate data. For the last eight years, that's all I've been focusing in on is how do we collect this data that's scattered everywhere? And most of you guys probably are very aware of that. But put it into our system, not just to show you the data all in one place, but how you can manipulate that data. And that's the most important thing to me is uh, this is a very competitive market. And I think we need to start utilizing technology in our favor, right? We've watched enough sci-fi movies. If you don't use technology into your own favor, they're going to turn into Terminators and come after us one day, you know? So <laughs> the idea today is I'm going to show you and James how to manipulate this data to find leads that you guys have never even seen before or heard before. Uh, so thank you again for, for the time and opportunity here today. No problem. And I, if you don't mind, brother, I am just going to, as you talk, I want to just grill you with as many questions uh, that pop into my mind because I feel like these are questions that my folks are going to have. And then, of course, obviously, I'm a real estate investor myself, right? So I have questions. So the first thing is uh, with what you said, right? You got all this real estate data, okay? Uh, my first thought, the first thing that popped into my brain is I am a licensed real estate broker, okay? I'm yeah. out in Cleveland. And the thing with licensed uh, real estate brokers, it's a very scattered uh, data-driven business, right? Like what I mean by that, folks, is there's this thing called the MLS, right? That's where all the some bitches get together. We sell these motherfuckers to you guys, right? That's where we sell these properties. But here's the thing. There's no national MLS. There's no statewide MLS, right? So it's not even like there's 50 MLSs, right? We, they just broke up into these crazy little regions. Like, so my MLS that I am a member of, right? We have like 6,000 realtors and that's where all the properties in the greater Cleveland area are, are bought and sold, right? But that's the only MLS that I, uh, that I am a member of, right? So like if I decided I want to expand and I want to start doing properties in Birmingham, Alabama or Kansas City, Missouri, uh, I'm shit out of luck when it comes to my MLS. Is like what you got going on here with PropStream, is that going to kind of fill in that gap for people like me? I'll actually do both. Um, so if you did step out of your market where you don't have access to the MLS, we can definitely help you with that uh, because we have about 780 plus MLS boards under our umbrella. You're going to be able to use our MLS data to find on off market properties or to even use that MLS data to run your comps. Now, as for your area, I, I, you mentioned you did have access to your MLS. Sure, you probably won't need to use our application to run comparables, but that doesn't mean our application can't help you uh, because our application collects off market. And well, essentially what we collect are the three major things, financial situational data. Uh, so it's financial data, situational data and property data. So yes, you do have MLS in your market, but I could still help you by finding a cash bought property that's off market because maybe that buyer needs to find an agent to list their property. I can help you find off market liens that probably need to list their property before they go into pre foreclosure. Uh, we could find you senior owners that are living in two story buildings and stuff like that. So um, yes, you do have MLS, but we for the last 15 years have been able to work with realtors in their market and when they step out of their market. Now, again, in your market, you probably are just going to use your MLS to run your own comps because we're not a live feed. Our feed is usually 24 to 72 hours behind your actual MLS feed. But again, once you step into Miami or a different market, uh, you don't have the MLS unless you want to join that board and you know how pricey it can be. So we're able to at least uh, accommodate that situation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.